Judges chapter 13 is the birth announcement for Samson, the last Israelite judge. And we are told in verse 1 that once again the Israelites did evil in the sight of the Lord. This is the seventh and final time in the book of Judges that the Israelites fell away from God and was probably their deepest betrayal yet. Because of their disobedience, God hands them over to live under the Philistinian rule for 40 years. At this point in Israel's history, the Israelites were very separated from God. To counter Israel's intense separation, God chose a man to be intensely separated to God. We read in verse 5 that God would raise through a barren wife of a man named Manoah, a baby boy who would be named Samson. He would be a Nazarite, consecrated to God. Under this Nazarite vow, Samson was to abstain from alcohol. He was to let his hair grow and to avoid any desecration through contact with dead bodies. Samson had been divinely appointed by God to live a life separated from the world for dedication and service to Him and to begin the deliverance of Israel from the Philistines. As Christians, it's easy to get caught up in the glitz and glamour of the world. But like Samson, we also are to live lives separated from sin in the world. In Romans chapter 12, verse 1, the Apostle Paul said, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. Like Samson, we are to use our bodies to serve and obey God. We are to be set apart as God's vessels and His conduit to spread His love and gospel to a lost world. After all, Jesus gave His life so we could have the gift of everlasting life. Isn't that the least that we can do in return?